Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss about hosting model and minimal hosting model in .NET Core 6.0. Okay. Before starting the session, guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. If you ended up liking my video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. So, what is hosting model and what is host? In a computer network, a host is an option of designing TCP IP stack of networking operating system like Windows and Linux. This is the host and the process of deploying, installing an application to a server so that other users can use it is known as hosting. There are two types of hosting in ASP.NET Core in process and out of process before asp.net core 2.0 we have only out of process but due to performance now in the after 2.2 versions we have in process hosting model but dotnet core 6.0 introduced minimal hosting so what is minimal hosting model dotnet 6.0 introduced this hosting model it's much more simplified and streamlined and reducing the amount of boilerplate code you need to write to get your asp.net core application up and running minimal api are new features in asp.net 6.0 that aims to simplify the code they are used for building apis with minimal dependency in asp.net core Minimal API simplify API development through the use of more compact code syntax. So let's open Visual Studio and see what are the hosting models present. Then how to view this. So let's create a new project. So I am creating a one.net core web empty application. Let's next. So I am giving hosting model click on next no need of https dotnet 6.0 long term support click on create by default dotnet 6.0 is run on in process we can change it we can modify it also so how to change this right click on the project go to edit project file we can change here Okay. Now open our program.cs file in .NET Core. We have program.cs file. In this hello world section, I want to return what is our hosting model. So here system dot diagnosis dot process dot get current process dot process name. If I run the application now. So you can see Alliance Express is coming, which is in process by default. Stop the application, go to the CS project. You can check ASP.NET hosting model is in process. In process is IIS Express. So if I run this one, so it is by default. Still I am writing here. Mm, so you can see IIS Express. Stop the application and change to out of process and run this application now it will come my project name which is running on out of process right the project name is hosting model right stop the application now and let's see what is minimal hosting minimal hosting is something we don't have startup.cs here we have only program file it's very simplified and very means understanding also to add any service we have builder here 
so we can write here builder dot service dot the service name so i'm writing r controller right program dot c class and configuring the midi layer so in program dot class we see how to configure the services and configure the midi layer we can directly write up dot i'm using use static file midi layer so in a single line okay, i can add services in a single line i can add the midi layer in previous dot net 3.1 we are writing in the starter dot cs file next thing is configure the routing so you can see here app dot map get slash only blank it is getting the process name so I can write here like the same thing up dot map get slash get product right If I run this application now and I type get product. This is product API. In this way also we can route our and configure our routing of our application. So we can use also map post app dot. map post also what is map post map get these are synchronous similar to our http get and http post method so you can see map post map get map put okay so if you see these are ours microsoft button routing endpoint next is our logging provider so for logging provider we can directly write like this app dot logger dot log information so in this way also we can straight forward add our logging or default logging mechanism of dot net core next thing is minimal hosting support adding the service or dependency for this let's go to our program let's see i want one more our user defined service which that's in our scope i'm going to create this service Right. If we use this service also, we can write our code like this. In this way also, we can invoke our service. So these are the benefit of minimal hosting model in .NET Core 6.0. Guys, if you like my video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.